again we are in a very beautiful place inside the jungle you can see the ranges of mountains are there now today we are here to show you a very unique system which you people might have not have seen ever okay the real integration of different kinds of farming system along with fisheries here we are going to see that how apiculture fisheries and horticulture and forestry can be grouped together and from that how it can be you know, so we can use it for livelihood you know earning livelihood for the farmers i will ask my cameraman to focus into that system the farming system if you see that is the unique system i have ever seen in my life where they are growing apiculture just in between the ponds okay there are two ponds small small ponds are there and in this it is almost dry and there is second one which uh, uh, i'll show you the what are the fishes that is in and there is a water flowing okay continuously the water is flowing out it's coming out through a stream with the help of bamboo okay and then it's falling to the first pond then from first pond it's coming to second pond and then it is flowing out and if you see there are so many horticulture crops the farmers is growing yeah there are lots of many papaya trees are there and there are many fruit okay, all around the pond all around this fishery he just he has, he has developed this system by his own concept and another important thing i tell you the benefits of keeping the honey bee boxes in between the pond is you know these honey bees are very much prone to ant attacks ants you know chitti jo bolte hum ant attacks now if you are keeping these honey bees in between the ponds so obviously ants cannot come and attack so that is another innovations at the farmers level we can see in in this part of the nagaland and this is a okha district so from uh, Yukon village and uh, he is the owner of this farm in this farm he he is uh, uh, like it is a kind of integrated farming where he rear some bees honey bees also and uh, fishes also and at the same time some fruits and some vegetables and it is very uh, good area for to grow fish and to rear honey bee also and they are Uh, depending on this farm uh, for their livelihood and this is a very good farm and how he has designed uh, in such a way how to give the bees uh, because what he is saying is uh, just to protect the uh, honey from some insects because uh, what he is saying is mm -hmm. some ants are coming to attack the fish 
and also some there are some lizard who go inside the hive and stay there because the honeybees are very uh, afraid of the uh, uh, lizard. So whenever lizard come inside the hive, the, all the uh, honeybees will run away, fly away from the uh, box. So in order to protect from all the all kinds of insects, whatever is harmful for the honey uh, honeybees, he is giving he has designed in such a way that. Uh, even nobody can come and touch his uh, honey honey um, bee box. So in that way, he has uh, designed in a very innovative way. He is very one of the most progressive fish farmer in Woka district. And uh, in future, he want to develop the whole area for culturing fishes. And some, if possible, he wants to culture uh, some frogs also. Even uh, he has a plan to culture grubs also. So uh, if anybody can help this type of uh, farmers who are very dedicated to his farm, it will be good for the whole Lotha people. Thank so you. I would like to ask you one thing, from where he got this idea? Uh, it is by his own. By his own. Okay. Yes. So that's what I was talking about, you know. Necessity is the mother of invention and this is a great example of this invention and the innovation by the farmers itself. Okay, along with this, thank you all. We'll come with some other more innovative things from uh, Nagaland. Thank you.